Pelvic Organ Prolapse, Wikipedia Article Audio Pelvic organ prolapse is characterized by descent of pelvic organs from their normal positions. In women, the condition usually occurs when the pelvic floor collapses after gynecological cancer treatment, childbirth, or heavy lifting. Types Grading Shaw System Bodenwalker POPQ Management Epidemiology In men, it may occur after the prostrate gland is removed. The injury occurs to fascia membranes and other connective structures that can result in cystocele, rectocele, or both. Treatment can involve dietary and lifestyle changes, physical therapy, or surgery. Pelvic organ prolapses are graded either via the Bodden-Walker system, Shaw system, or the pelvic organ prolapse quantification system. Anterior wall Posterior wall Uterine prolapse Vaginal prolapses are treated according to the severity of symptoms. They can be treated. Genital prolapse occurs in about 316 million women worldwide as of 2010. Upper two-thirds cystocele, lower one-third urethraceal. Upper one-third enterocele, middle one-third rectocele, lower one-third deficient perineum. Grade 0 normal position, grade 1 descent into vagina not reaching introitus. Grade 2 descent up to the introitus, grade 3 descent outside the introitus, grade 4 procedentia. With conservative measures, with a pessary, a rubber, or silicon device fitted to the patient which is inserted into the vagina and may be retained for up to several months. Pessaries are a good choice of treatment for women who wish to maintain fertility, are poor surgical candidates or who may not be able to attend physical therapy. Pessaries require a provider to fit the device, but most can be removed, cleaned, and replaced by the woman herself. Pessaries should be offered to women considering surgery as a non-surgical alternative, with surgery. Surgery is used to treat symptoms such as bowel or urinary problems, pain, or a prolapse sensation. According to the Cochrane Collaboration Review current evidence does not support the use of transvaginal surgical mesh repair compared with native tissue repair for anterior compartment prolapse owing to increased morbidity. Safety and efficacy of many newer meshes is unknown. The use of a transvaginal mesh in treating vaginal prolapses is associated with side effects including pain, infection, and organ perforation. According to the FDA, serious complications are not rare. A number of class action lawsuits have been filed and settled against several manufacturers of TVM devices.